What it do, YouTubers? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the love and support. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. For all people, customers that order from me and those on the winners, I like to ship in bulk. It will be shipping out most likely Friday, all right? I'm gonna go and do all the deliveries. Also, thank you for getting up to 200 and plus. I really appreciate that. If you're new, welcome. This is a judge-free zone. Um, I do curse, or if cursing offends you, then I'm not the reader for you. Also, I'm a reader that's gonna tell you like it is, so I might irritate your demons, but just know I'm doing it out of love. If y'all can help me get up to 400 uh, followers, I'm gonna give away a sex oil and a money oil, okay, either one. This uh, sex oil is used in sex rituals, also in love rituals, things like that, all right? Also, you can do, uh, love, put it on you and your lover, but it's a massage oil. It's not for internal, it's for external, okay? My money oil is to help to bring in your finances. Talk to me, spirit. All right, we're gonna do pick a pal, one, two, and three. All three might resonate with you. One might resonate with you. Two might resonate with you. If it don't, don't force it, baby. You know what I'm saying? Just relax and let it go. You can book a reading with me uh, at www.cabelladivinebeauty. I make spiritual products. I am a spiritualist. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I work and fucks with the ancestors. That's what I do. You know, I make products. And I'm a mentor and I'm a teacher as well. Also, if you are a diviner, I'm going to start selling charms. They are being blessed with Reiki and Shaman energy. They use to help with your readings and divination. They will be intuitively picked for you. If you want to get some charms from me, let me know, okay? Okay, ancestors, what messages do you have for Power One? Is there any other messages for power one? Thank you. Any messages for power two ancestors? Mommy Wata is definitely around of someone. I don't know if you've been dreaming about Mommy Wata. In the Dominican uh, Republic, they call her San Marta de Dimidora. She's also known as Mommy Wata, all right? Um, she's heavily around somebody. She goes by different names for Power 3. She is a very good mother. She's very motherly also. She don't play that shit. She knocks down walls. If something's not going in your favor or she thinks it's not good for you, she will destroy it. But once she destroy it, she will replace it. Mommy Wata, Santa Marta de Dimadora, also known as. For pal three. <coughs> Excuse me. For pal one. I'm also picking up a, a heavy Anubis energy. If someone is thinking about Anubis is definitely around you. Anubis energy. Anubis helps with your spiritual work, your necromancy, or your mediumship. Um, he's the guardian of the underworld. He smells very musky, like an Egyptian musk. What other messages do you have for Pal 2? Anything else, ancestors, for Pal 2? I'm also here, uh, Oris is around someone too. I'm hearing spiritual writing. Someone's supposed to be doing some spiritual writing. Um, holistic healing, sound therapy healing. I'm hearing that, sound therapy healing. Ancestral trauma healing. A lot of y'all got spiritual callings that y'all supposed to be doing. Step out in faith and understand they got you. If you don't believe in yourself, baby, ain't nobody going to believe in you. Y'all going through a major healing right now for Pal 3 Spirits. Y'all really need to connect to the African drums. That's calling forth your ancestors.
Someone's starting to dream very vividly. You're not writing them down, baby. When you remember your dreams, that's a message. It might not be for you per se, but it's a message. No, you're not going to understand it. Spirit is saying, start, write, start writing them down. You're missing out on missing pieces of the puzzle that you're searching for. Message for Pal One Ancestors. For Pal Two Ancestors. For Pal Three Ancestors. Anything for Pal Three Ancestors. Show me clearly. Going back to Pal One. Is there anything else for Pal One? Thank you. Then we're gonna go into the final message. Remember, when you are a diviner, high priest, high priestess, brujo, bruja, voodoo priest, voodoo priestess, you work through spirits, okay? Everyone is psychic. But when you are spiritualist, you deal with spirits. So that means you are a diviner. So spirits talk to you through all types of divination, all right? Not just cards. Not just free flowing from energy. You you uh, pick up everything. You are a spirit walker. You are a spirit talker. For pal one spirits, ancestors. I mean pal two. Anything else for power two spirits? Okay. For power one. How you gonna win if you ain't right within? That is a message for somebody. How you gonna win if you ain't right within? <clears throat> This is going to be the finest message. Those who are first will be last. Those who are last will be first. What message for Pal One? You see how it's not trying to go in? That's too many. I'm not taking it. For Pal One, what is the final message? For Pal One, spirits, ancestors, lay it on them straight. Anything else for Power One? Papa Leg, but somebody's supposed to be talking to Papa Leg, but you used to talk to him. You're not talking to him anymore. You need to get on that. Anything for Power? Woo! Three. Anything else for Pal 2? Since y'all throwing it out there. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. At the bottom of the deck, you had the Six of Swords. Some of y'all are going to be traveling spiritually. This is spiritually traveling. Some of y'all are going to get called into a house, which means you're going to get initiated. You're going to have a spiritual mentor come into your life that's going to teach you how to improve your work, improve how to protect yourself in the earthly realm and the spiritual realm. A lot of y'all are going to be talking. Y'all going to be spiritual motivators. A lot of y'all going to be traveling, teaching classes, going to retreats. Just get ready. Just because you're traveling does not mean it's always going to be spiritual because of who you are. It's getting ready to start. Pal one. Pal one, baby. What I talk about? Y'all are called to mentor. Spirit said it is time. You are that spiritual teacher, baby. You are a master. You have always been a spiritual master. I mean a spiritual master. You have always been a spiritual master teacher in all your past life. You're so full of wisdom and knowledge. You are called to teach. You are spiritually inclined. They want you to start listening to drums. Why you think I'm playing drums now? Because when you teach and do drums, you're connecting with your ancestors. 
Your ancestors are going to speak through you. You're going to be healing. Music heal you. So some of y'all are going to be doing sound therapy healing with singing bowls, uh, all the chakra bowls, water um, magic. I mean, not magic. Water therapy, healing the wound, the sacred wound of your of your womb. Right here, this is a lot of ancestral trauma is right here. Okay, y'all need to get y'all a drum. Y'all need to connect to earth. Y'all need to find your tree. Remember, I was speaking about trees. All right, you have a skill. Your skill is to teach, to be that leader. All of y'all are in alchemy force. You are alchemist. You are a magician. You are a spiritualist. Start saying and acting like you are spiritualist. P uh, spirits talk to you. You walk with the spirits. They talk to you. Success is on your side. This is a breakthrough because this is your calling. This is what how you're going to make money. This is your living. This is what you're called to do. All right? It's going to be a major breakthrough. You're going to get understanding. You understand people. People are starting to be magnetically drawn to you because of your energy. Your light is bright. bright. You're helping people but also Remember, you have to take time for yourself and heal because you are precious too. Energy is liquid gold. You are so creative. You're going to be healing people through herbs, through music, through words you speak. Like I said, you are that master teacher. You are the guide. You are being divinely guided by spirit. Your ancestors, your spiritual ancestors, your ancient ancestors, your master teachers, loved ones. Like I said, you are a spiritualist. That's what a spirit it is everyone is psychic everyone is not a spiritualist baby and pal one you are a spiritualist this is a completion of a cycle that's why i'm saying you're going to start noticing people are going to come to you and you're going to realize that you're ministering to them because you are a teacher you're going to say why all of a sudden all these people are coming to me because spirit is telling you it's time okay you're not doing it so they're going to push you into it and there's a person that listening to me know who picked pal one what i'm talking about you keep hiding for it this is when you're going to find the love you're going to love because you love what you do you love helping people you love being a spiritualist this is how you're going to find the one because the man or woman that you're manifesting is a spiritualist too. So you have to be spiritually yoked, all right? So what you're doing, what you love, this is how you're going to find him or her. This is going to happen quickly, the ancestors saying. And be careful because, yes, you're going to have people hate on you. Baby, they hating on you now, so who gives a fuck? You know what I'm saying? They're going to be jealous of you because they want to be you and they can't. Remember, you want to die an original, not a copy. They might try to copy and paste for you, but baby, they can't copy your spirit. They can't copy your soul. So what's meant for you, can no one take that. It's your time to shine, all right? Moving on to pal two. Gai bobo. Pal two, baby. You have a lot of mm, Pablo Mayambo spirits, tribal spirits. What I mean by that, fiery, fiery spirits, Rada spirits, like Pamajitas. There's a total of eight Pamajitas. You have Papa Gede, Papa Candelo all around you. Once again, Santa Marte, the Demodora is around you. You very fiery. They want you to step into that ATR. Okay, this is your passion. This is your calling. You have it on both sides of the family. You are a communicator, which means you are a pantheon. Spirits come to you and you communicate. You deliver the message. Sometimes you don't understand the message, but eventually that person that you were giving it to is going to receive it. Uh, receive it. Spirit is saying, y'all very good with your hands. I don't know if you're going to be making products. You know what I'm saying? I sell herbs. Get to know, uh, contact me and say, hey, do you have any money herb oils? You got some dominating herb oils. You got some love making oil herbs. If you can't find the herbs, I can sell them to you. And then you can do your shit. You're supposed to be stepping out there. You are very powerful man and woman, all right? Being ordinary. They don't want you to be like him, her, she, he, or whatever they identify. You do your own damn thing. These are your ancestors. Spirit is saying it's time to get it popping, baby. You know what I'm saying? They, You're not understanding them. You're not understanding the words coming out of their mouth. Someone needs to drink some mug work 
tea. Sip on some mugwort tea. That's going to help you see things. If you see it too much, then cut back on it, all right? It's time for you to see the spirits that's working with you. And these angels are not pretty. So don't be thinking that you're going to see a angel with blonde hair, blue eye. That's some bullshit, all right? Y'all need to spend a long time because y'all need to understand your ancestors. They're giving you money-making ideas. they they really helping you. But, you know, you're not paying attention because you're like, what if I this? What if I that? Damn, if you do, you're a beginner. Brush yourself off and start it again. You learn from your mistakes. You have to learn from your mistakes. You are a beginner. All right? So continue to do what you're doing. Spirit is saying... Don't compare yourself. A, a tree does not compare itself to a bamboo tree. They both strong as fuck. They both grow different. They both look different, but they still have the same strength. They still connected to the earth. They still connected to the source. So you got to understand, you're not going to be the same. You're different. Y'all all spiritualists. Okay, a lot of y'all are trying to feel like y'all sick, y'all tired, y'all need Herman mold, you feeling drained it's because you're going through an ascension because they want you to take the time and hear the words coming out of their mouth. Okay, a lot of y'all need to start doing work. I'm talking about spiritual work, spiritual work. Sometimes it takes a little spiritual work to get ahead on things. All right, there's magic in the air. That's why it's called alchemy. Magic is real. All right, some of y'all going through a tower moment, baby, but this is an ascension. It's, it's clearing the past for you. You need to uh, feed your old goon and become one with your old goon. Everyone has an old goon. You have planted so many seeds, they want you to take it to the next level. All right, this is going to bring you to your success. This is going to get your business going. This is going to get you your new home. This is going to get you your new car. You know what I'm saying? A little magic, a little sprinkle, sprinkle, but you have to believe in yourself and you have to turn up and let it do what it do. All right, pal two, we're moving on to pal three. ass come down you're not fooling nobody but yourself you know they're not falling for that banana in the tailpipe your ancestors like who the fuck you think you talking to you need to slow your roll they said come on stop they are showing you the way you keep fighting with them and they're getting pissed off you got to understand they were once human so if you go to them with an attitude and start demanding shit they're not going to make it work so you need to slow your roll and respect them they will respect you all right you are a healer you got to understand healers take a hit healers get sick a lot it's because whatever's on that person transmute on us i'm talking about my shamans and my reiki healers my energy healers you cannot touch everybody you can't give reiki healing to everybody also because people can drain you and whatever's on them can get on you you gotta realize every money is not good money your health is important all right when you do reiki you don't always have to touch have contact with them you can do that and that's healing you don't always have to have hand on hand and also before you perform any type of healing ceremony you need to be fasted prayed up and meditated and you need to be well protected a lot of y'all not calling for y'all protections and y'all getting a hit y'all getting spiritual attachments on you a lot of y'all have some resentments because y'all watching y'all neighbors move y'all watching y'all neighbors succeed y'all watching y'all neighbors manifest and is getting it jealousy is not going to get you anywhere you can't be angry with nobody but yourself because you have an attitude with your ancestors you pissing them off everything happens in divine timing you have to grow in the darkness God give you, say, you say, God, I want an apple tree. God give you the apple seed. You go plant it. So you get mad at God because five seconds, the apple tree is not there. That's not how it works. The last thing that grows on a fruit tree is the fruit. So right now, they teach you to be humble and patient and control your anger because your anger is consuming you. You need to confront your past lives. A lot of y'all are dreaming about your past lives. Y'all getting a glimpse of things. Like in shadow work in the mirror, you start seeing things your face changed into things that you don't like. That's the things you need to embrace, all right? You got to find that balance. Once again, y'all need to connect into nature and heal with nature. Ground, be, find your tree, become friends with your tree. Also, the law of reciprocity, baby. 
okay you have karmatic debt on the earthly realm you have spiritual karmatic debt and a lot of y'all are not paying off your spiritual karmatic debt every now and then you can offer a free one car reading every now and then you can offer up something free every now and then you can buy somebody a five dollar foot long or whatever you want to do every now and then you can give away old stuff for free you can donate it that is the law of reciprocity okay you have to uh pay off karmatic debt also spiritual karmatic debt y'all not burning y'all ancestral money a lot of y'all um or not giving so that's why the universe is not giving to you when you bless someone you get a bigger blessing in return you're going to have a lot of jealous people of you because they see your power they see your potential you have the gift to make money you have the gift to become that self-made millionaire but you need to get out of your own fucking way all right you need to learn to give back so you can receive Y'all have a lot of wisdom and knowledge. Once again, traveling is in the forecast. Some of them state to state. Some of us over foreign water. Spirit really wants y'all to connect to the music. <coughs> music hold vibrations. Your ancestors can talk to you through music. Music hold colors too. If you listen to certain music, you will see colors in your meditations to start paying attention. Also, if you start seeing a lot of stray animals around you, that is your ancestors and someone from the spiritual world protecting you, letting you know, pay attention to their behavior. If you can, give them something to eat because they doing their job. They taking a hit for you. All right. Law of reciprocity. When I am hungry, you fed me. You know, it's not saying you like it. Throw some food out there, some stale bread to the birds. Come on, give back and you will see your blessings flow. Y'all be blessed. Peace. Namaste. I shall.